welcome back to my Halloween series. So this today we are sporting a Halloween wig. Um, if you haven't been watching my Halloween series, I have been wearing something Halloween-y from my local Tesco or some, somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've been sporting a Halloween look. I've been making it fun. But in today's video, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, we're making a cursed skull head in a jar. I hope it looks good. I know I say this in all my DIYs. This thing's moving. It's in my eye. But I really do hope it looks good. It does in my head. Fingers crossed that it comes out good. So if you want to see how I make this cursed skull head in a jar, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you see my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Potter Puppet with us, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm trying so hard to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers, so I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button for me. And guys, all my social medias are linked in the description of this video. Go see what I'm up to on those. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you're interested to know a little bit more about Patreon, the link to that is also in the description of this video. Go check it out. If it seems to be for you, then come join us. We'd love to have you. Let's make this cursed skull in a bell jar. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, this is too light. Oh, the sticker's still on the bottom. I'll try and get that off, off camera. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint this brown. I have this brown that I recently worked with on my last DIY. It's quite a dirty brown and something I imagine the sort of brown you'd see in Borgen and Burks. So let's paint this brown. <laughs> So with that trusty help of my hairdryer, it dried it quickly. I've also painted the bottom. So the next thing we need to do is paint this skull because he's far too white. So what I'm going to do, I've got some colours. I actually spoke to a Patreon earlier. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> she uh, helped me because I said, I've got white and yellow. Will that make cream? I know that might sound like a silly question. But I am really nervous about painting this and I hope it turns out all right. But yeah, she was telling me why a tad of yellow and also a tad of brown. So I'm actually going to go get a clean plate to do this. And we're going to see if we can mix a nice cream colour. Wish me luck, guys. So let's get the white on the plate. I kind of want to mix too much because I don't want to run out and have to mix the colour again and not get it. If that makes sense. Right, Taddy Yellow Barbara, yeah? Is that enough? I can add more if I need to. That's the beauty of it. Get on. Right, and then just a tad of brown, just a tad. If I put the brown there, that's a good job I did that. Right, so I'll dip my paint in there. Right, wish me luck, guys. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna, oh, Barbara, you genius. You genius, you. Oh, that's quite cool. Right, it's still just a little bit white, so what I'm going to do, let's get a bit more of the brown. Let's mix some more brown in. I might have got too much there. Let's have a look. Hey, look at that, guys. We've got a dirty, creamy colour. Should we do a work? Let's do a little tester on the skull, shall we? Hopefully you can see all right. It's still just a little bit too white. Hang on. Let's have a look. I thought I'd do this on camera, guys. I don't know why, to be honest, but there we go. Let's put a bit more yellow. Let's try that. Let's try that. There we go, look. There we go. I know Barbara's going to be screaming at me at the screen here. I just want to add that. Just a little bit more yellow. Just a little bit more. And I think we're good to go, guys. Let's paint him. Let's paint him! I'm not going to lie, guys. I think he looks quite cool. <coughs> so now I'm going to let him dry. And then we obviously, what I notice as well when painting, can you see that crack there? Well, he's got some more around his head. 
so we can have some fun with them as well. Oh, do you know, I haven't done a canvas painting. I mean, um, I did show some of my canvas paintings off in a video. Um, I haven't done it for such a long time and it's obviously reminding me of doing things like that because I'm having to sort of paint effects and stuff on this skull. Obviously, it's a lot easier working on a 3D object because you have the cracks to just fill in and things. But yeah, when he's dry, we'll uh, darken the areas a little bit with some browns and blacks. Right, I can show you a little bit better now. Look at that. That's really cool. Barbara, you're a genius. Yes, you saw. I missed a tiny bit round here, but it's fine. It's going to be covered. It's fine. So yeah, what I want to do, I don't think I want just this brown put on it. I'm going to make it a bit lighter. So I'm just going to mix a bit of white and brown. And then, yeah, we're going to do some dark areas on him. This is looking so cool. Right, I'm going to start with these little cracks. I'm sorry if you can't see properly, but that's not brown enough. Hang on. Oh, I'm nervous, guys. Nervous. Right. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got... That's better. That's better. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to darken the cracks in his head. And then we're going to sponge more on. Let's go in here. Let's go in here a bit. And get in these dark shaded areas. There we go. And then just bring it out a little bit. It's all right. Susie's making a mess. Let's get a bit more on. There we go. That's better, right? Cover that bit. There we go. I'm not very good at blending. We're trying our best, guys, here. We're trying our best. Please turn out okay. Okay. That's one dark area done. I might go in and sponge as well. Let's do down here next. I'll do this bit and then I'll do the rest off camera. I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, this is working fine. This is working fine. I think I'm going to lighten this bit. I don't know if it's too dark. Let's have a look. There we go. There we go. That's blended a bit better. There we go. But yeah, right. I am going to go do the rest off camera, but you're getting <coughs> the gist of it. You get what I'm doing. And I'll be back with you when he's shaded and we'll see what he looks like. Right guys, what do we think? So I've shaded him. He's looking a lot spookier than when I first started out. I don't think I've done quite a bad job. I've done the cracks on the back of his head as well. Uh, I'm not an artist, guys, okay? We're, we're trying our best. So let's have a look at what we're looking at so far. That's looking pretty cool. The only thing I'm gutted about, literally he fits so tightly under that dome. It's unbelievable. So unfortunately... Well, he lights up, which is really good, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have him lit up because once he's in there, I'm not going to be able to get him back out again. So I'm gutted about that in a sense, but it's fine, it's fine. So the next thing, let me just move this plate. I want to do, I have got some moss. Now, you might think, why are you going to put moss in there? Because I'm different, guys. We know this now. Now, with him being a cursed skull, he's not dead. There's something living on him because he's cursed. So I kind of want things growing around him, if that makes sense, just for that there's something living around him. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna warm my hot glue gun up and I'm gonna glue some of this moss around here. I might glue a bit on him, like going up a little bit. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to the school. But first off, let's warm the hot glue gun up and then I'll be back with you to stick some bits on the sides. Right, the hot glue gun's warmed up. <coughs> so let me just make sure, yeah, what I wanna do, I'm going to have to try and do it so that it's going to go right in to him. Like that, because obviously when the dome goes, we don't want it stuck in there. We'll, we'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. It's fine. But I've got him lined up. Don't move, Mr. Skull. Okay. Listen to me. And then... Ah, oh, that hot glue's hot. Susie states the obvious. So, yeah, I've put a bit that side. I'm going to turn him round. And we'll put some glue this side. 
Sorry if you can't see. My hand's in the way. All right, there's some hot glue. And then we'll get some of this. Oh, wait, quick before it dries, Sue's. Dries so quick, hot glue, which is good in some ways. It's good in some ways. Oh. I suppose it doesn't actually matter if it's not all glued down because once the dome's on anyway, it won't matter. So yeah, we've got some moss. Let's have a look how we're looking. Okay, I'm going to actually put a little bit more this side, but I won't bother gluing it down. I'll just poke it in. There we go. Now, what do we reckon if we maybe put some on him? Maybe going, let me turn him round. What do we think? Let's have a, let's have a quick look. Take that cobweb off. If I poke that in there and then maybe have it going up his skull a bit. I reckon, I reckon. Let's put a bit of hot glue on here. My hand's shaking, guys. It's because of the angle I'm on. Right. Oh, wow. I put hot glue on a piece and it flew off. My goodness. Let's put a bit more on. There we go. And then just glue it to his head. Glue it to his head. Right, so we've got a bit of moss on him. I'm going to glue that bit there, I think, off camera. I'll just titivate about with it and then I'll be back with you and show you what how far I've got. Okay, so I managed to get it stuck down around there and I just put an extra piece around the back of him there. But I think he's looking pretty cool. The next thing I think I want to do, let me just have a look. I'll work it out with you guys. I kind of want to add some spiders. So maybe if I glue one there and one on his cheek there. Yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to do this. How exciting. Right. Put a bit of glue on this spidey. Make sure I put plenty on. And glue it there. That looks pretty awesome. And then, yeah, I'm going to glue one on his little cheek bone. There. I'm sorry, I think my hair got in front of the camera there, I'm not sure. This wig, I tell you. Right, moment of truth, guys. We're going to stick the dome on. But I'm going to do it off camera, and then you're going to see. I'm going to clear the station up. I'm going to take some proper photos of it so you can have a look, and then we'll talk about it at the end. Speak to you soon. job considering oh that he's, he's lifted a bit that's fine it's fine um yeah the bow jar and because when i picked the skull it was from the same shop as i got the bow jar and it only just fits it takes a bit of a wiggle and i thought that spider was going to pop off his cheek but we managed it what do we think oh, i look so awesome i can't wait to put him in his little place but yeah let me know if you're going to have a go. Have you made something similar to this? I have, I looked everywhere for a bell jar and I couldn't find one anywhere. But this skull head and the bell jar were from Hobbycraft. Um, it's the only place I could find a bell jar. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've made anything. Let me know if you've made anything spooky this Halloween. I'd love to know. Send me pictures in my social medias. You know I love to look. You know I love to look. Talk to me in the comments. You know I love that too. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up for me because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you in my next video. Bye, Potter Puppets.